Voici Vincent et Fanny. Ils sont français. Ils habitent Los Angeles. Ensemble, il y a quatre ans, ils ont créé un groupe, The Art of Blondes. Ils se sont même mariés il y a deux ans dans le désert de Mojave. Aujourd'hui, c'est barbecue and beer dans la cité des anges. Les Yard of Blondes reçoivent leurs amis avant leur road trip. Fanny et Vincent vont aller chercher l'inspiration dans le désert californien à Joshua Tree. Là-bas, ils vont écrire la dernière chanson qui manque à leur album. Lui, avec ses cheveux d'argent, c'est Bordel Thurman, un dude, une pointure de la photo à LA. Il a shooté toute la scène rock californienne depuis 40 ans. Il est venu souhaiter bon voyage à ses amis et rallumer la mèche du LA des 70s, aujourd'hui disparu. Brad est fan des Yard of Blondes. Et les blondes, Brad, il ne fait pas que les fumer. Il les shoot. Three Valley Girls. Cherie from the Runaways, Vicky Razorblade from Venus and the Razorblades, and Marie Curry, the twin sister. There you go. Oh, and so I met Bob Dylan in 1976, and it was so cool to meet him. And he was like a hero. Avant de boucler leur valise pour Joshua Tree, Fanny et Vincent ont reçu la bénédiction de Brad. Comme Bowie ou John Jett, ils ont posé pour le photographe. Click. The light was perfect, and it just captured a special moment. And I think. Since the light is so perfect now, this light, I think we, just, we should do some pictures over here before, before yeah. we lose this beautiful right. California light. And Vincent, so maybe lean in a little bit. Like, I'm sorry. What do you lean a little bit more. <laughs> What do you in, into Fanny. Concentrate. Rock stars. Le road trip commence. Destination, Joshua Tree, à 2h30 à l'est de LA. Jim Morrison et Keith Richards ont déjà fait ce voyage initiatique. Graham Parsons, lui, n'en est même jamais revenu. Ses cendres flottent encore dans le désert de Morave. Deux heures et demie de Highway 62 plus tard, premier stop à Radio Free Joshua Tree, la radio libre qui arrose toute la vallée. Aux manettes, le pape de la scène musicale de Joshua. Teddy Queen. Ex-enfant star à Hollywood, il a déserté les plateaux de cinéma pour planter son drapeau à Joshua Tree. Aujourd'hui, ici, c'est lui le patron. Almost, maybe. I lost track of time since so long. Yes. And um, 
What are you up to now musically? Musically, I'm in a band called The Small Wonder Experience, and we're a pretty good Joshua Tree band out here. We uh, play at least twice a month somewhere, and we're very good friends and close with Ted Quinn during his open mic. He's very responsible mm. for making, making, bringing me the confidence that I needed all my life. I'm kind of a late starter, and I'm, but you know, Ted showed me about four years ago that you're, it's never too late to start. Cat nip, cat nip, cat cuddle, cat nip. I like to smoke my cat nip because it feels so good. It feels so good to me. Hey! 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 Les Castangs, deux frères et sœurs débarqués de Montréal. Depuis un mois, ils balancent leur son surpuissant dans tous les open mic de la vallée. Les enfants castagnes portent bien leur nom. Vous avez joué Oui. Ah, parce qu'on attend ça, nous. Allons jouer. Quelqu'un qui nous a dit, genre, Ah, vous êtes pareil comme les Sex Pistols, j'ai eu ça! Qui ça, les Sex Pistols? Vanessa Pink Floyd, Jimi Hendrix, Super Trump, Genesis. Mais on connaissait rien, c'est nos parents qui ont fait l'éducation musicale. Notre premier show qu'on a fait, c'est... Ah, oh, c'était dans un salon de... de un hospice. De, un hospice, là, ouais. oui. Oui? Ouais. Ouais, nos deux premiers shows. <rire> tu sais, quand tu te sens mal, c'est ta Ouais, tu sais, quand tu te sens pas bien, là, ouais. t'as besoin de faire un show. Ouais. <rire> <rire> grandir, fucking grandir. <rire> Premier open mic pour les Yard of Blondes. Ici, au Joshua Tree Saloon, on écoute ce qui se fait de mieux dans le comté. A lot of my big, um influences are kind of late 60s, early 70s, um, from the Stones to um, Graham Parsons, who kind of... Oh, Graham brought, Parsons, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he has a, an amazing story. I guess he, he was uh, found dead in uh, the Joshua Tree in room number eight. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I used to, well, before I, I transplanted here, I used to go and stay at the end just because of my fascination. Oh, really? Visit. Yeah. Room number eight? I never got in that room, but, <laughs> but just the whole the whole place it's has a, a really room. cool, real cool uh, energy, and um, there's something magical about this place. And what do you expect here? Um, I mean, I came out here to create music and really just focus on making that, that dream I, I've had for years and years happen and having the space to create and just, you know, the, the way of life and way of living is a little bit easier to make that happen. I, you know, I was living in L.A. a year and just surviving and living out your dreams is a little bit of a struggle sometimes, so 
it's harder for me yeah. in the city. Yeah, so this is a place, and just the community here is so great, and it's so, so supportive. I've met so many more people here in just the two weeks I've been here. Than you already feel that it, there's a whole community and uh, oh, yeah. that's help each other. It's, it's amazing, yeah. And uh, did you ever write a song about uh, someone in Joshua Tree or uh, some people? Or? Not yet, but I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it's only to come. <laughs> Are you from Joshua Tree? Nah, fuck no. I'm from Hollywood. Fuck Joshua Tree. You're more from the Sunset Street uh, scene? Yes, musical yes, scene. yes, yes. In fact, uh, actually, if, uh, if I might show you a picture, this is like... Uh, me. In the 80s, everything was about, you know, like entertainment. Just like burlesque. Grunge came in and said, you know what, I'm going to be empty. Which is beautiful in its own sense. Imagine going through like, I can have sex with three women a night, no problem. Mm -hmm. To like, okay, grunge comes in, I'll be able to have sex with one new woman a, a week. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like, oh my god, I went oh. from 21 women that's we so sad. like one. This is why I have like disease tattooed on my stomach, because oh. I got so much pussy, even from like husbands who would tell me like, "Hey, fuck my wife," it became boring. <laughs> but no, you laugh. I'm not. I'm not fucking around. I said, you know what? I'm gonna fucking put disease on my stomach. So like, when a woman like takes my shit off and is about to fuck me, they'll like think, "Oh my god, this guy might have AIDS." <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marc Madurier français. C'est l'ancien chanteur du groupe de néo-métal Plémo. Lui, il a tout plaqué pour vivre dans le désert. Bien matino, hein Oui <rire> Ça va Non C'est pas voir un petit vide, mais j'entendais un petit son de guitare <rire> au fond. Ah mon pote Ah et toi Bien. Plaisir de te voir. Le, le spot un peu des, des gens cool ici, j'ai l'impression. <rire> Qu'est-ce que tu fais dans le coin bah en fait, euh, je suis venu hier euh, avec ma meuf, parce qu'on visite les baraques ici. Je vais me rapprocher un petit peu de, de Los Angeles. Qu'est-ce que t'as fait pendant un an Bah j'ai fait de la peinture, mec. <rire> Tous les jours dans la Ouais, en fait, perdu. vraiment, il y, y a un an, j'ai décidé de, de, de me remettre sérieusement à la peinture et puis de, de peindre des cowboys, parce que c'est un truc que je voulais faire depuis des années. Et d'aller te perdre. Et voilà, et en fait, je suis parti en Arizona, faire vraiment le truc, euh, repartir à zéro de tout. 
que j'ai regardé à l'intérieur de moi qu'est-ce qui, qu qui est mon truc et je pense que la peinture est sortie euh, j'ai eu cette, euh, <rire> cette voix du ciel comme vous devez la voir avec la musique ah ouais, où, où ouais. as coup, on te dit c'est ça ton chemin suis-le et puis clair. ça a été tellement prolifique tu vois. et donc ouais, on a visité une maison de ouf là et j'attends la réponse ah, ce ouais, enfin, c'est à Yucca Valley c'est euh, à l'entrée du Cavalet tu tournes et c'est sur les collines c'est une grande baraque, parce que l'idée qu'on a, c'est vraiment de, de créer un espèce de, de pôle un peu d'artiste où tous les, les potes de LA peuvent venir quand ils ont des projets. Bon, et vous, alors euh... On essaie d'écrire un, un nouvel album, mais il manque un truc, et euh, on savait qu'on le retrouverait en venant ici. Le toit de la chapelle, tu vois. Ouais, c'est un peu ça. Ouais. ça c'est un directeur artistique de Sony à l'époque euh, qui nous avait dit ça. Cette expression, elle nous avait tués. Un jour, le mec se pointe en répète. On avait une chanson, on était tellement contents. C'est la chanson, quoi. Putain, on joue le titre, machin. Et puis, euh, la chanson s'arrête. Il, il est comme ça dans un coin tout seul. T'as les six mecs en sueur qui se retournent vers lui. Il fait. Ah, c'est pas mal, mais. Je crois qu'il manque un peu le toit de la chapelle qui fait que ce serait vraiment un tube, quoi. Je dis, ok, d'accord, tu sors. <rire> la clé de vous. Ouais, c'est ça. <rire> When wolves and tigers howl for Hey John. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good. This is the American way, right? Yeah. Hey, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Joshua Tree. Thank you. Well, yeah, this is you. this is my home. This is your home. On wheels. There's just so much beauty around here and scenery and really talented people too um, that that you can feed off of and and I'm an environmental uh, writer, you know. Mm. So it's like it's When I'm in a new environment or with new surroundings and new people, it's just like it, something comes out of me, you know? I just, I don't feel constricted. Je What do you write about? Um, I actually write a, I'm, I'm a very personal writer. Um, my, I started playing music because when I was 17, my mother passed away and uh, she had a rare disease. And, um, and I, was, I had a lot of emotional problems when I was younger. And so, um, like the minute she died, I, there was like a light switch that went off in me and because um, I, I, she was 38 when she passed away. Oh you know, with three kids and I was, it really put things in perspective for me as far as, you know, how short life could be, you know? I mean, really, you're not guaranteed tomorrow, so, um, but but it was a really, it really hit home. And so I I just turned the music as, as a therapy, you know, and so I started taking my my pain and turning it into art, which, uh, which was kind of like, it's been my formula. Yeah. 
going to happen tonight okay what's going to happen tonight is the person that owns the range is going to play music cool and then a bunch of other people are going to play music and we're going to play music until all the people that want to play music are done wanting to play music Do you think so. we can play music absolutely i can cool. make sure that you can play music if you want to play something the person to see is graham okay he runs this and i will point him out to you guys cool he he'll get you on the set list and absolutely please play music Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, you know, I just came down here because, like I said, the people were neat. And my kids told me I couldn't do it. Dad, you go down there, you're stupid. Don't you dare. Wrong thing to tell me. <laughs> I raised you guys. Look who's stupid. I'm not working anymore. You're still busting y'all's asses. <laughs> A uh, long time ago, I used to play the bass. Oh, cool. But my memory went to crap with some medical problems, and um, I don't, I can't read music anymore. I can't. Mm. I went, when I went in the hospital, I was right handed. I came out of the hospital left handed. Wow. Well, it's quite a story. Yeah, and it gets worse, <laughs> but we'll <laughs> leave it there. <laughs> Ça, c'est la nuit façon Slap City. C'est Sean Penn qui a offert ce décor à toute la communauté, après avoir tourné ici Into the Wild. Et ça pour être wild, c'est wild. from France and Europe and uh, we're so stoked to be here actually.
Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you for having Merci. us. Merci beaucoup. We love you. Nice play. Adèle est une artiste française qui passe le plus clair de son temps dans le désert. Elle y puise toute son inspiration. À ton avis, pourquoi, pourquoi les gens viennent, viennent ici, dans, dans le désert, vers Joshua Tree euh, Est-ce qu'ils viennent ici pour euh, renaître C'est assez transformatif, le désert. Donc, est-ce que c'est euh, est pas forcément repartir à zéro, mais c'est définitivement aller plus profond dans son être et dans sa créativité et dans ce qu'on a à faire ici hein. Peu importe d'ailleurs, il y a beaucoup d'artistes, mais c'est pas forcément que des artistes. Euh, il y a des gens ici qui sont chefs dans des restaurants, euh, des décorateurs d'intérieur, euh, profs. Euh, mais euh, il y a un, un, une recherche de l'essentiel qui serait proche de ce qu'on est à la naissance, quoi, de ce qu'on est dans l'état le plus pur et mmh. le plus... Le plus... Il, y a, il y a beaucoup de nettoyage. C'est marrant ce que tu es en train de dire, parce qu'à chaque fois qu'on vient à Joshua Tree, tu dis à Vincent... Euh... Je viens me purifier ici. Ouais. Et quand on repart d'ici, je me sens chargée de, de bonnes énergies. De bonnes énergies, de, ouais. Comment euh, je me sens relax. Il euh, n'y a plus de problème, il n'y a plus ouais. de stress. Ouais, tout à fait. Welcome. Breathe. Recreation. Goodbye. Welcome. the Hobichobi. Okay. Um, and the whole area is called the Hobichobi, but also this little main house. And okay. It was actually a homestead. Uh, do you guys know what homesteading is? No. no. So when the American West was settled, they wanted to encourage people to move out here to the West. And so to do that, the government said, if you come here and build a very small little house and stake a claim for five acres, If you stay there for two years, you can keep that claim. That land will oh. be free. So that's oh. how they settled the American West, was, was bringing people over. So this was originally a homestead in 1925. Wow. And my friend, whose name was Smokey, uh, he, it was his mother's homestead. And then I became friends with him, and when he died, now I stay here. Adrienne aime recevoir les artistes du monde entier, et elle les invite à se perdre au cœur de son labyrinthe. Purifie-toi, régénère-toi, reprends contact avec la nature. Chez Adrian, la porte est toujours ouverte. Bon, en même temps, il n'y a pas de porte. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Like every night? <laughs> every night. Wow. How do you do when, when it's freezing? <laughs> well, I have a sleeping bag, but it's beautiful because the sound is incredible. Right. I can hear coyotes all around me. Sometimes I wake up and there's an owl in the tree <laughs> or a vulture wow. or just all kinds of things happen that don't happen when you sleep inside. Oh. Oh. <laughs> do they uh, know about this place? It's just word of mouth, really. I meet them here, and I tell them about the place, and if I feel like they kind of got it, then I say, okay, well, you can stay. We make an agreement for how much, how long they stay, and I say, but leave the place better than how you found it. <laughs> so that's the deal. That's the deal. <laughs> so there is no fee, I guess. There's no fee. Because you're the river Because you're the night Because you're the sun shine I'll be back tonight Because you're the river Because you're the night 
You guys meet each other. How I saw him on stage, and I fell in love with him. <laughs> and then, and, and then we traveled together, and 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 at some point, Heike sang with me for the first time on stage because she she knew all the songs already because she saw me every wow. night. How did you discover this place? Uh, we discovered it because we were looking for a cheap place uh, to rent and <laughs> to live in, and, and that was the only area that we could afford a house. So that that's why we came, and for the music scene. Right. For sure. How long have you been uh, coming to uh, the Joshua Tree area? Uh, we live here for uh, one and a half years now. Was it easy to integrate the musical scene? Yeah, yeah. the people were really nice and, and supportive to us. Yes. And they really uh, appreciated what we, what we did here. So you don't have to fight uh, to, uh, no, to get not some a, recognition? Not at all. And Unlike in Austria? I think it would be different everywhere in Europe. It would mm. be different. There's much more jealousy. I exactly. think there's more money, but more also more jealousy. Yeah, in a I way. feel in Europe there's not this sharing. Exactly, you know, it's, it's that, much that's more what we experience too. Yeah. I like I like the, the vibe here between musicians, musicians and mm. and people. Coffee tables by the shore and people talking. No echo from the wide and open sea. There's a tension building on the water. I can feel it creeping up on me. Bang, bang, two more shots of liquor. The sky is black and the air is getting cold And the reckless grab their shooters and the lonely are Fumbling for a hand to hold Chances are time's not running backwards Oh no, not even in this rundown beach cafe Oh, don't you turn your head Say a prayer instead I can feel it Come across the bay Son of a gun If you got a sister Tell her you love her In the eye of the twister Oh, tell her you love her In the eye of the hurricane Son of a gun, this is your moment of faith. This is your moment of faith. Hey, Teddy. Hi. Here we are. <laughs> we met here at the open mic, right? Right, didn't we? exactly. Okay. So this is the open mic night, Monday night every week at Pappy and Harriet's for, I think, 100 years now. Okay, and everybody can show up and, uh, and sign up. Everybody can show up and play. And play. It's That's always why we really like fun, because you never know what to expect. Yeah, I heard, like, um, recently you had Linda Perry coming. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that was fun. And, and Robert Plant, and uh, mm, yeah, he showed up like a few years ago. Oh, that's cool. And then uh, Feist. She's wow. from Canada. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's uh, very famous in France, too. She played one night. It was really sweet. Hey, 
Hey, hey, the French crew, <laughs> all over again. Wow. How are you? Love you guys. I'm good. I'm good. Oh good to see God. you. He was not fun. Mick Taylor from the Rolling Stones came in with the Paul Chesney band. Really? And they got on stage and the keyboardist, I mean, he says, get, get, get up here and say you. So I got to sing Honky Tonk Woman, oh, Mick no Taylor and the Stones. You know, she has the stage. same story, actually. I have story. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, I'll try to make it short, but back in France, like mm -hmm. around 15 years ago, yeah. my parents used to work for Dave Stewart, the mm -hmm. guitarist from Eurythmics. Uh -huh. and, and one night the, the Rolling Stones were here, so there was Ronnie Wood, Mick Jagger, and Keith Richard. Oh my god. And they didn't have a drummer. And I, I started so you... playing the drums a year before. So I was pretty bad at drumming. Yeah, but you played with the Rolling Stones. But I played with them because my mom was like, say yes. So I said yes. Of I didn't course, understand what they course. were saying. Once in a lifetime opportunity, you can't pass it up. I love you guys. Yeah! yeah. We love you. <laughs> French kiss. Quand on veut faire le chant, comme la guitare est assez tradie, on fait pas partir sur un chant non plus hyper euh, cowboy, euh, essayer d'apporter autre chose quoi. Je pense qu'il faut qu'on bosse un peu sur le texte avant de savoir euh, quelle émotion on va donner quoi. et ami de longue date du groupe, Tony Mason est comme Dead Queen, un des pionniers de la scène musicale de Joshua. Il va aider les Yard of Blondes à trouver les mots de leur nouvelle chanson. Basically, you came to visit and you stayed there. <laughs> I mean, we just came to like, you know, see the park or, you know, hang out. And we just got in a car for the first time, because this is like 20 years ago, right? We just got together and we got a car together. So we drove the car out here, just, right? No, we didn't know where we were going or, you know, I remember driving up Park Boulevard going like, people live here? Yeah. <laughs> right, you know, and then, how could you live here, you know? And, and then I got into the park and we got out of the car and went to some rocks and just sat on like, oh. And, um, and it was just crazy. Born, born again. Die, die again. No matter what is happening. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the, the feeling of it. And we have to finish the song for tonight and because we want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> so, um, cool. do, do you have a... Like, Way too many ideas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. So, so do you, you, know, know, you know what's trippy about like Rebirth, you're talking about it, right? Is yeah. it's like, you're almost like embracing who you really are, right? And getting back to that so you can boom. <laughs> and the air and the, oh, the moon's coming up and, you know. That's the like, crazy ideas I had. <laughs> <laughs> and learning, you know, so learning, learning new stuff. And, learning. <laughs> right, yeah, there you go, that's a good word, yeah. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Learning and learning again. Damn. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my line. You gotta know. <laughs> <laughs> I think for so long, I, I we get lost and we try to be something we're not, somebody we're not. We uh-huh. have to live up to that ideal that we're talking about. Like what yeah. you just did is so inspiring because yeah, yeah, that's I'm it. connecting it to the other stories mm-hmm. of the people we met mm-hmm. here. La chanson parlera de ses paysages, de ses visages, de ses chemins vides, de ses chemins de vie. Le désert inspire quand on le respire. Do they wonder when their daddy's coming home? that you own in the middle of nowhere. We <laughs> <laughs> used to live in Pioneer Town near Pappy and Harriet's and I was like a little I was like a little kid and we would have I had a horse and we would ride up and we'd hang out and there was music and fun. It was awesome. And um and then I dreamed about having like a roadhouse, but not like a dream, but like I was asleep and then I woke up and I'm like, oh I had this dream and we had this roadhouse and it was really strange. And then I told my mom And she told her friend who lives in Wonder Valley, and he was like, there's this place and it's really screwed up, but it's really cheap. And he was right about both things. It was cheap and it was really screwed up. Take your inspiration. Well, the bar, having a bar is a great place because you hear so many stories. And all, all of our songs are from stories that really happened and they're real. And we were like, well, we gotta write about this. And our mom, she was like, you gotta write original songs. That's what you gotta do. You gotta be, you gotta have some original material. And how was it like to grow up in, in Joshua Tree? Oh, it, was, it was wonderful because Ted, even Ted was doing his open mics, like even then, even when it was Tommy Paul's beatnik, and it was always like such a warm environment. Now he's doing it like more, like even more. There's like, it, is, you guys it was were so really encouraging. Young when you first did it, worked with Ted, right? Yeah. yeah. They were like kids, like, like I saw a picture and they were like little <laughs> kids. <laughs> It's true. C'est le dernier open mic pour les Yard of Blondes. Les Castangs, Ted Queen, ils sont tous là, ces visages du désert. Their band is called Yard of Blondes. Yard of Blondes. Cause you're the river. Because you're Because 
Dripping slowly by And if we don't talk He'll leave us high and dry I'm not sure how to do this I don't want you to be hurt But I need reply I'm really getting scared that I won't be prepared for the curtain call. Don't let me go. Forever wandering in the dark. Tell me what I need to know. Cette nuit, les Yard of Blondes ont fini la chanson qu'ils étaient venus chercher à Joshua Tree. Hi everyone. Mais il leur reste une dernière chose à faire avant de quitter le désert. We actually wrote a song about you, about <laughs> Castan, about Adrienne, really? about Jonathan, about everyone we met. Oh my god. And um, I can't Here is a song. Really? <laughs> yeah. Very good. What's it called? It's called Born Again. Born Again. Yeah. And hopefully it's gonna be on the air, on the radio for oh, yeah, right, right away. Right away. <laughs> All right. We've got a world premiere coming up next on Radio Free Joshua Tree. It's a brand new song by Vincent and Fanny, also known as Yard of Blondes. And their song is written and inspired by their week here in Joshua Tree. And it's called Born Again. So let's hear it. Born Again from Yard of Blondes. Steps in the sand 